way back when I was a graduate student in the 1980s, my thesis, my dissertation, was one of the first calculations where we took a specific shape allowed by the mathematics of string theory for the extra dimensions and tried to calculate the physical observables, the physical implications of that shape. And we did these calculations and basically what we found did not match reality. But that was simply starting with one particular shape. So the natural idea is look at another shape and see what physics it gives rise to. Now at the time, there were really only five or a handful of known shapes for the possible form of the extra dimensions. So you can imagine going to the next shape on the list. The problem is very quickly the list grew. So while there are only five or so known shapes in the mid-1980s, within a decade that number had grown to something like 10,000 possible shapes. And as the years went by, even 10,000 was dwarfed. Millions of candidate shapes for the extra dimensions were found by people working on this subject until today. There are something like 10 to the 500 candidate shapes for the extra dimensions. And that's a real puzzle for us. What do we do with that many possible shapes for the extra dimensions?